This section heading is called Upgrading Hadoop. So now that we have all the DFS daemon stopped, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to execute these setup scripts that are contained on each node within the cluster. The way that we're going to do that is one by one via the client. So to get a better understanding of how this whole process is working, I'm going to establish an SSH session with the master node so we can view one of those scripts. So I'm going to go SSH to support at master and now I'm going to cat the setup script. This is going to be user, local, and then inside the bin directory I'm going to take a look at upgrade master. So this is going to outline essentially the whole installation process, right? Installation and configuration. And you can see all of those steps outlined within there. So we're going to execute each of these scripts remotely. So let me just exit. The first one that we're going to execute is going to be on the master node. So once again, we're going to execute them from the client. And what's enabling us to do that is SSH with the dash T option. So we're going to go to support at master. The script we want to execute on the master node is going to be, as we've seen, called upgrade and then master. So we're going to need to authenticate for our SSH session and then for the privileges to execute the script. Once the script completes, your SSH session will terminate and you'll be returned to a prompt. So the next one we're going to do is going to be on slave one. So I'm just going to hit the up arrow key here and I'm going to change this to slave one. And then we're going to need to come over here and we're going to need to specify that host. Slave one. Okay, and now slave two. So up arrow key again and just change these to a two. Okay, so now the last node is called Snapshot, so we're going to upgrade that one. So coming over here, this is going to be Sec and N, and then coming over here, it's Snapshot. So now the last thing I'm having you do within the lab is just to close the terminal. The easiest way to do that is just to type exit and press enter. 